time for us to head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Just have a quick question. Do you think that the Browns need more football guys in the building, like in the front office area? You know, like when we had John Dorsey, a real football guy, you know, guys who are real football guys but can handle the analytics because I feel like the analytics is what's going to kill the Browns at times we need too many points on the board. And I feel like they need a balance with, um, you know, somebody who's got some more football knowledge to help them realize, hey, this is the ebb and flow of the game. If you don't take these points, you could have needed them here. You know what I mean? So I guess my question is, do you think that the Browns need more football minds? up in the office to help balance out the analytics. Just want to hear your guys' opinion. Go Browns. As always, appreciate all of the voicemails. Tim, um, I think, and I'm not one of these guys that is a big fan of analytics, but I think what analytics is, it's, it's kind of data that backs up your decisions. The other thing I'd say is uh, Pete Prisco, the national writer from um, CBS, had a chance to talk to him at the Combine a couple years ago. And he said, Kevin Stefanski is definitely a football guy. Knew him from his days back in Philly. Said he's not an analytics guy. He'll listen to analytics, but he is a football guy. So I get the question. I, I think there's a, a little bit of a, um, a misconception about how much analytics is driving things. Um, your thoughts? Yeah, I think that idea of the, the term football guy thing, I, I don't like, you know, that disconnect between the idea of analytics guys and football guys. I mean, it's the same thing we're kind of talking about when we go back to the days of Moneyball when Billy Bean was just starting up in Oakland with the athletics. And quite honestly, I think my counterpoint to that is like, you know, pure football guys really never helped the Browns much at all. You go back, you know, they've had football guys since 99 and they still have struggled to really get going as a franchise. And John Dorsey, I, he does deserve credit for getting Nick Chubb and Denzel Ward for picking them. But, you know, he's also made plenty of bad decisions. So I, I don't think that's the issue. I think the issue is just, you know, when you look at this football team out there, the biggest thing that stands out to me is, you know, it goes back to not having your starting quarterback into Sean Watson. And when you have a backup quarterback in there like Jacoby Brissett, your margin for error is naturally diminished. And you have to do a lot of things well in order to win football games because you don't have a quarterback on the field right now who's able to make up for those mistakes. And right now they're making too many mistakes to win consistently, and that's particularly on the defensive side. They're not getting it done right now, and they're leaving too much of a hole where even when the offense is playing well, and it has for the most part for the first five weeks of the season, it's making too big of a mess for them to clean up, and they're – Basically, it just means you're asking too much of Jacoby Brissett, who is a backup quarterback and not one of those guys who can overcome all of those things to win consistently.